Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm very grateful to be connecting with you today. And it is the ninth day of August, 2017. And I'm coming to you live from my uh, temple room, I guess you could call it, here in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm looking forward to serving you today. Today we will have a very important subject, which is assisting you with finding your highest soul potential. So that's what you can expect on today's subject matter. Uh, yesterday we were focusing on the, the special uh, anniversary of the soul light era, which ushers in the soul world, a new aspect of the, uh, of the soul light era. And um, the day before that, I talked about what is called the Jindan. And so these are all different aspects of soul. Soul is really the key of everything that I've ever talked about in the previous year on all of my live streams. <clears throat> and so if you're new watching for the first time, I uh, recommend that you kind of peruse through one or two of the videos of my podcasts from the past and you will start to discover that these live streams are not your, um, these are not about uh, receiving an individual card reading so you can get yourself through the day. This wisdom is to get you through life. And so if you are more on the path where you really want to solve life problems and move forward in your soul journey, then you're in the right place. So I recommend for anybody new to, uh, to follow the links listed above the video. You'll see access to my archives and access to my uh, website, which has my podcast and a lot of other information regarding Tao blessings, all forms of um, services that can assist you. But for those that are just tuning in today, today is <coughs> receiving your highest, uh, revealing your highest soul potential. Now, when I mentioned this to... Uh, <clears throat> Kristen earlier today she says oh you're gonna do uh, soul readings I said no um, that would make it too easy um, revealing your own highest soul potential is where you really get the greatest value that's where you truly connect uh, most to your soul part of revealing your highest soul potential is connecting to your soul your original um, journey and so we'll spend some more time on that today as we go. Uh, so I want to pause for a moment and acknowledge all those that are just tuning in. <clears throat> so welcome Lisa Carter, welcome Johannes. I think uh, for Johannes it's about two in the morning where he's at. <clears throat> Aloha Jose. Welcome also to Kim Morrison. Welcome Chris Ezekiel. Welcome to um, Janice Crosby Carter. And thank you everybody uh, who is tuning in. Uh, for hitting the, your share button, letting other people know about this. Welcome, Marianne Melvin. Also, welcome to uh, Kathleen Monahan. Welcome, Yvette. Aloha, Jota. Good to see you here, Jota. And welcome, of course, to Kristen Rojas. Welcome, Yagdeep. Welcome also to Diane Powers. And aloha, Don Brown. Aloha, Ilona Andre. And welcome, Jennifer. Welcome also to Ari. Aloha, Julia. Aloha, CJ. Aloha uh, Nicole, Aloha Ali, welcome Patrice, welcome also to Amanda Binder, and welcome to Karen Hogan, Aloha Sharon, uh, Nicole, I'm not sure if I, if I said hi, so welcome also to Nicole, welcome Jose, Aloha to Abdallah Faraj, welcome also to uh, Judy Agnew, and Ruth, good to see you here Ruth, welcome Sima, uh, welcome Emma Kennison, lots of new faces today, thank you for joining, welcome Kim Morrison, welcome Susan Birchmore, aloha to Jenny Johansson, uh, welcome Diane Wuta, and welcome Suki Singh, and Edna, welcome to everybody, aloha Angie, welcome, if I miss any names, please forgive me, <clears throat> they're moving through here pretty fast, and welcome also to Dame Monica, thank you all for um, friending me, thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, and thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Uh, so, for those that are new, uh, I have been doing these live streams about a year. My purpose is to serve, to serve human beings and all souls to reach their highest soul potential. And every live stream, which is Monday through Thursday at the same time, all touches on the subject matter of soul. Everything from how to um, 
how to open and clear blockages in your individual chakras to sacred and secret energy centers, to the Tao Song circle that runs through your body, uh, aspects of the various organs and systems, uh, aspects of the five elements and their associations to your health and wellness, uh, Tao science, soul over matter versus mind over matter, uh, financial wisdom and blessings. Um, for those that are new, I do a lot of um, extraordinary blessings. So if you're interested in clearing some of your blockages in your life, um, first learn uh, so that you understand the power of what I work with. And then uh, come to my webpage, learn more and, and take advantage of some of the blessings. They can save you a lot of suffering time. So welcome also to Joyce, welcome to Chris Ezekiel, <clears throat> and welcome Kathy Arnold. So again, for all those new, uh, every time I do a live stream, I chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, which is a mantra that has been brought to humanity to serve humanity. It is a gathering tool. Its purpose is to gather hearts and souls together in oneness. And so um, this is an opportunity to receive a blessing because this is actually a blessing and healing tool as well. In the short time that I'm chanting, you may or may not notice a difference. Uh, but I have just sang this song before to offer a blessing and people have had their pain go down 50% in just a few minutes. So know that this song is such, so much more than just the pretty words. So make a request to heaven. I will offer this blessing to open today and then we'll move forward. <clears throat> so welcome to also to Raul. Welcome to Haley Donaldson. Welcome Tony Seymour. So let us connect. Dear beloved divine Tao and Source, all layers of all committees in heaven, all beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including lamas, gurus, sifu, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, angels, healing angels, and archangels, dear beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, Buddha, Kuan Yin, our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all, and we ask most humbly, most sincerely for your presence today. We ask that as we connect to today's wisdom on revealing our highest soul potential, that you please come to sit in each of our heart centers. Bless us each to fully awaken to our soul potential. Bless us each to fully understand the possibilities of why we came and how we can better align to that soul calling. We are very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, love you, honor you, respect you, we invite you to please turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to please come to join with us and we ask that they please offer their unconditional service and chant along with us. So again, for those that are new, this is a mantra to serve and Kristen uh, posts in the uh, chat boxes access to this song if you want to download it. It is complimentary. Welcome also to Cheryl and welcome to Felicia. Great to see you both here. So let us begin to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Lu la lu la li. La lu la la li. Lu la lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Lu la li lu la. Oh,我爱我仙儿灵，我爱转弯嘞，我爱转弯嘞，我爱我仙儿灵，我爱我仙儿灵，我爱我仙儿灵，我爱我仙儿灵，我爱我仙儿灵，我爱我仙儿灵
Lula, Lula, Oh, I was in Shang I ping on the sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so again, for those that, that heard this for the very first time, uh, it is actually a, a tool to serve all humanity. Every one of us here is aware and awake. We want to do something to make a difference on this planet, but we don't quite know how to start or how to make that significant difference. This is the fastest, shortest, most powerful way to accomplish it. This song has been translated into 43 plus languages and is currently sung in those 43 languages on six continents. The request is to chant at a minimum of five minutes every day at noon. <clears throat> so this is an opportunity to make a difference. You can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org and uh, Kristen, if you look on her chat boxes, will have put that posting in there as well as the words. So um, you can learn more there. I've taught an entire hour on this song. I want to scroll back just a, a minute or two and welcome everybody else who just came in. So welcome again to uh, Felicia. Welcome Candy. Welcome also to Brenda. And yet we'll call you Monica from now on, Dame. And welcome also to uh, Maria Franklin. Welcome also to Master Brenda. <clears throat> so I thank you all for joining today. Today's subject matter is was chosen because... Uh, I and many of the students that, that follow the wisdom and teachings of Master Shah received a teaching on it just this morning. And one of the great features about uh, my spiritual teacher, Master Shah, is that he doesn't just offer one piece of information and say, okay, go have a good time. He's always bringing higher layers of wisdom to serve humanity. And his top teachers are always teaching the teachers below him to um, awaken further our soul and our soul journey. Now some people came and already commented, yes, I would love to know more about uh, what is my highest soul potential. And many of you know that I do soul readings, uh, but I'm not going to be doing that today, okay? I know a lot of people are going, oh, um, but <clears throat> that makes it too easy, really. Uh, I could check Heaven's Guidance and offer you uh, guidance on what your highest soul potentials are, but I'm going to follow the, the way my teacher taught me today. I'm going to lead you through a meditation uh, where you will receive your own messages because your soul is a lot older than you, okay? If you think that your experience is, is it, then, then, then you may wish to do some more searching. Uh, this is a... Um, uh, one of the greatest opportunities in all life, even yesterday we were talking about this, that we're in a very pivotal time on Mother Earth. And uh, as a soul, one of the one sentence secrets is our purpose in life is to serve. The purpose of life is to serve. The purpose of our soul journey is to further awaken to our original creator, our original love and light, and to realign to that as quickly as possible, to remove the suffering as quickly as possible. So in order to accomplish this, we must awaken to our highest soul potentials, and we must remove the blockages that inhibit us from awaking to its highest soul potentials. And so that's where our focus will be on today. So again, we've had a few more folks join. So welcome also to uh, Richard Gillen, aloha, and Diane Dahigren, welcome. Welcome also to Marius, and welcome also to Akhail. Welcome also to Angie Chandler, and to uh, Samantha Miranda. Welcome also to Shelley. <clears throat> so thank you again for your presence. Thank you for 
uh, your service to humanity. So for those that don't know, my name is Paul Fletcher. Um, I've got this name Master Paul in front of it, but that just says that I've done this long enough to have enough wisdom that I can possibly benefit your soul journey. So my teacher is Master Shah. And this is him. If you don't know who he is, you might want to learn a little bit more about him and his service to humanity. Uh, but a lot of what I'll be sharing is his wisdom. And so, what is our soul and what is our soul potential? Our soul is a golden light being. It can be termed many things. And this golden light being is one of countless golden light beings that originated from original source. We are a soul having a physical experience. We are a soul in this world, and the vast majority of us are getting our butts kicked uh, in this life experience. And it doesn't need to be that way. Part of the reason that's occurring specifically at this time on Mother Earth is because of the significant shift that we are all going through. We are in an in a extraordinary tumultuous time where there is extreme darkness and extreme light. And in this kind of dichotomy, in this scenario where we have extreme darkness and extreme light, there is the most and highest potential for our soul to rise up higher and higher, much higher than if it was just your basic ordinary life where you, you worked out in the garden and you come in from the garden and you cook the meal and you go to bed and repeat. That's not a life in which you're going to grow much on the soul level. Life's like the ones we're going through where we're awakening little by little. Some of us are getting our tail end kicked. Some of us are enjoying the ride. Some of us are somewhere in the middle. Uh, some of us are, are in very significant dire straits emotionally or spiritually. Um, some of us are very lost on this journey. We come in with the greatest and highest love and potential, and we have unpleasant parents. We have unpleasant uh, uh, belief systems that, that, that push us down. We are, um, uh, uh, become disillusioned, if you will, with society as a whole. All of these are aspects of our soul journey. So in order to move to the highest soul potential, we must first be aware of why we are here. We must secondly go through the process of removing soul level blockages. What are soul level blockages? They are negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego, ego. I have ego. I got way too much of it. But always trying to remove it as much as possible. Because the more we remove the negativities in the ego, the attachments, what's an attachment? I gotta have my coffee every morning. Many, many forms of attachments. Attachment to watching that TV show instead of watching me. We all have our attachments. All of these inhibit us from connecting to our soul. There is also the emotional blockages of the heart. What are heart-based blockages? These all block our soul journey and inhibit us from aligning to our highest soul potential heart blockages greed okay i am definitely uh, certainly not selfless enough um, how can i tell because i don't always give when i can i don't always share when i can there is far too much selfishness as a whole in humanity and we all have to do our part for ourselves and our own soul journeys selfishness is a heart blockage it is a blockage that inhibits us from connecting to our soul the heart chakra or heart center has been called many different names in all the, the different spiritual teachings. Uh, Master Shah refers to it as the message center in his wisdom and teachings because it is where we receive the messages from our, our source, from our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, and from our soul. How can we hear our soul? How can we align to our highest soul potential if we can't even hear the message because we have too much corruption in our negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego attachments, selfishness, greed, jealousies. Any of you have jealousies, right? Any of us have um, uh, fame, desires for fame. All of these are a separation from our true purpose in life, which is to be love, to be in alignment with source and creation. So everything that is not in alignment with source and creation, not in alignment with oneness, is obviously taking us away from it, okay? Uh, there are other blockages as well. There are soul, heart, mind, and body blockages. So 
So the body blockages, sore neck, sore shoulders, uh, sore spine, uh, constant migraines, right? Um, all of these, these labeled diseases that no one knows the source of them. These are not in any way, shape or form accidental. To think that life is accidental would be, um, would be incorrect. Life is very, very purposeful. The purpose of life uh, is to awaken us to our original creation, that we can serve others, clear our spiritual debts, create more positive virtue, more positivity, find our way back home a whole lot faster. We make the mistake of focusing on self when we should obviously be focusing uh, to serve outside of us and to serve others more. In doing so, we can clear a significant amount of our blockages. So, the first step in finding, uh, identifying our highest soul potential is to recognize our uh, existence as a soul, not as a personality. Uh, if you're watching this, that might sound like a very simple, oh, sure, I know. But if you look at your life, it doesn't always represent that truth. You might know the truth that you're a soul having a physical experience, but your soul can save you so much suffering. It can make your life so very, very blessed. Your soul can bring you a lot of financial blessings. Your soul can literally heal your pain. Your soul can bring to you a soul mate. Your soul can do all of this. Why isn't it? You're not in alignment with your soul and your highest potential. You are living a life of an ego-based person. Okay, uh, And I don't mean that derogatorily, and it certainly might not apply to everybody. Uh, I apply it to myself. I know that without that awareness, I cannot move forward. So I offer you that as a baseline to work with. The first point is to recognize you are a soul having a physical experience. And as such, we must recognize those places that we are inhibiting our soul from connecting to us. Now, show of hands, how many of you daily, daily uh, connect, not just to God, but connect to many, many beings of light, Jesus or Buddha or, or Kuan Yin or Krishna or Mother Earth. How many of you actually, regardless of the conditions, offer gratitude, offer uh, your deep gratitude for their presence, whether you see them or not? I want to know how many of you actually do that. Happy faces for those that do, sad faces for those that don't. Okay, Because this will give you an idea. Part of aligning to your highest soul potential is recognizing that you are definitely not alone. This is Kuan Yin behind me here. Isn't she gorgeous? She is with all of us right now. The beautiful thing about high level soul beings is that they can be in a million places at once. We are here on earth experiencing this, but our soul can be other places. It can be having many experiences. So I see about 60% uh, about happy faces and about 40% not so happy faces. So that gives me an idea of, of how many people are doing this. How simple is it to say the words, just connect every day to all the beings of light that surround you and offer gratitude? Easy to say. Why is it not so easy to do? Because negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego, attachments to the way we do things every day, right? Closed heart, all of these inhibit us from our highest soul potential. Now, when we go through the meditation today, um, I'm going to lead you through the same meditation that, that our highest teacher taught us as students today. And this will assist you with receiving a message from your soul. Okay? And your soul can communicate with you. In fact, your soul, 100% of the time, is communicating with you. Do you realize that? 100% of the time. So is God. So is uh, your favorite deity, be it Jesus, be it Buddha, doesn't matter. They are constantly present. You think of them. You think of their image. You say the name Jesus right there. You say the name Kuan Yin or Buddha right there. Okay. You think of your grandmother that may have crossed over right there. 
because in the soul world there is no limitation of time and space they all recognize the uh, the nature of the soul which is to serve it's just down here where we're stuck in the muck that we lose uh, that truth and that reality the minute you cross over you're back into that awareness the key of awakening to our highest soul potential is to bring that awareness that we have when we are in the soul world to our present physical awareness now and how do we do that we do that by clearing the blockages enough especially in our heart center that we can hear clearly that which is always coming to us think of it like the old AM radio stations, right? You know how you turn them on, it's like, wee, 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 and then you turn it a little bit more and all of a sudden you start hearing some voices but you can't quite make it out. And no matter how close you turn that dial, you can't quite get that station, it fades in and out. That is the majority of humanity. Now, that signal by those voices, in this case the soul world, is actually reaching many souls that have better reception. We have poor reception because we have blocked energy centers, because we have blocked heart chakras, because we have too much ego, too many negativities, not enough selflessness. This is how we awaken to our highest soul potential. Okay? All right. So now we're going to walk through and move into a meditation <clears throat> that will... Uh, we're going to do a forgiveness practice in this meditation as well. I will walk you through this, okay? And I encourage you to go deep into this practice because it will assist you to open your heart. When your heart opens, you can hear the messages. Now, you might hear, uh, let's say, and I'll walk you through to ask your soul to guide you. What is my highest soul potential? You might hear only one word. That word might be love. That word might be light. It could be any number of other uh, words. It could be a sentence. It could be a phrase. It could be an entire conversation. Why do some people hear nothing? Some people hear one word or one phrase. Some people hear an entire sentence. The reason why is because the heart center could be a little too closed still. This is why you want to take a look at um, the programs that I do through my website, the individual services, the uh, karma, uh, excuse me, not the karma, the, the Tao blessings that clear the blockages in the heart center, all of these um, basically make your life a whole lot easier, a lot faster. So if you're able to receive messages right away, no problem, that's good news. That means your heart center is a lot more open, the blockages are not so, so heavy. Um, if, on the other hand, uh, you have difficulty and you don't quite receive any messages, then there is work to do on your chakra system, on your practices, on the clearing of the spiritual, emotional, mental blockages. And I also teach that individually and in group. So um, I look forward to serving you. So let's move into this meditation at this time, okay? <clears throat> All right. We start with the four powers, placing our hands in the, uh, like a prayer position, and it's called a hand mudra. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. I know it's opposite in the video. Left hand over your heart center. Right hand gently pointed remains towards heaven. It's just like in the prayer position, just drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Okay? Uh, all of my information is listed above this video. Access to everything I'm talking about is listed above the video. Okay? Um, close your eyes. And let us connect. Please, if it is comfortable, repeat after me. Dear the Divine, dear the Tao, dear my beloved Source and Creator, God, Divine, Allah, you choose what and how you wish to connect. You may have a different system of belief entirely. I honor that. You connect what is best for you. I love you. I honor you. Deeply respect you. I ask most humbly, for you to please come to sit in my heart center. Now I want you to visualize inside your heart. Inside your heart is you, your soul. Visualize a little golden baby Buddha. That is your soul. Sitting right inside your heart center. In the center of your body. Behind your chest cavity. 
visualize your beautiful soul, a little baby Buddha, and see the Creator come to sit and stand next to you. Honor the Creator light that comes to you. Feel the Creator's love. Connect to the Creator's love. Truly connect to your Creator's love is radiating. If it is difficult to connect, speak to your Creator. Ask, could you please bless me to open my heart more? Could you please bless me? to release the pain that I have in my heart that keeps me from being open to my highest soul potential. Now think of another being of light that you greatly love and appreciate. Maybe it's Jesus. Invite Jesus to come to stand next to you. Feel Jesus' love for you. See the great light that emanates from this incredible being who has dedicated his life to serve you and all humanity. Receive the love from Jesus. Notice how it's a little bit easier now. Offer your gratitude to Jesus. Send your love for all the blessings that have ever been offered you by this beautiful soul. We invite the soul of beloved Mother Mary to come stand on your side. She arrives in the beautiful gown. See the pure white light that she radiates. Notice the great purity of her heart. Receive her greatest compassionate love. Open your heart. Open your heart. Offer Mother Mary your love, your gratitude for her presence, for her love. And now, invite beloved Buddha, Amitofu, to please come to sit by your side, to meditate with you. See this great golden Buddha of such pure love. And the Buddha arrives and honors Jesus, honors Mother Mary, honors the Creator, and sits in lotus position across from you. Beloved Buddha opens his pure heart and light shoots out of his pure heart directly into your heart center, blasting away darkness, blasting away negative thoughts, blasting away jealousy, greed, selfishness. Your heart is so happy, glowing light, radiating gold and pure white light. See how much more open your heart is. 
all of these beings are radiating their greatest light to you their greatest love your entire body is literally releasing lifetimes of blockages allowing the light to purify all that is false all that is no longer of value to you and now beloved Kuan Yin the Buddha of compassion we invite beloved Kuan Yin to come and instantly she manifests beside Amitofo she is standing with such pure radiance notice the beauty of her wardrobe tremendous light she has something in her hands what is it she is reaching out to you to give you a gift look carefully what is she giving to you reach out and take it from her hand hold it in the palm of your hand look very carefully at it admire this gift that beloved Kuan Yin has given you see this beloved radiant gift she has given this to bless you to further open your heart center now gently push this gift into your heart center with the palm of your hand and as it goes in it is absorbed by your soul your little baby golden Buddha absorbs this gift and instantly your little baby Buddha becomes fatter chubbier brighter happier Wow what a beautiful gift thank you offer your greatest love and gratitude to this benevolent soul Kuan Yin please open your heart to all of these beings of light who came now you can invite another soul who do you connect to the soul of Mother Earth do you connect to Krishna do you connect to Ganesh who do you connect to elders connect to one additional being of light invite their soul in to sit in your heart center do it now ask these beautiful souls this new soul that just came in bow your head to this beautiful soul tell them how grateful you are for their presence and they open their heart and send you an additional blessing feel the love from this soul accept the love that they are offering you at this time open your heart open your love feel the love from Jesus Mother Mary beloved Amitofu Buddha Kuan Yin feel the love from the divine creator feel the love from this being of light you invited in open your heart and now notice how much more wide open your soul is notice how much more clear all the light is and now 
Look in your third eye from inside your heart center. Look up. There is above you a very bright light, kind of like an angel. And this very bright light has a message for you. It is your original soul. It is the part of you that always stays with Creator. It has come to serve you, to give you the guidance for your highest soul potential. And as it floats down, to be above you, in front of you, facing you, this golden light being shines with the purest creator love. Connect to this soul. Repeat, dear my beloved, original soul, you are always with my creator. You carry all of my lifetimes of knowledge, wisdom. You carry all of my lifetimes of experience. You carry the wisdom of my highest soul potential. Could you please send a message to my heart center and allow me to hear a very pure, clear message how to achieve my highest soul potential and what are some of the things that I can do that will make me much happier as a soul. Listen silently. Wait for the answer. Connect heart to heart. Receive the answer. Mm. If you are not receiving anything yet, open your heart. Receive the love and light from all the beings that have surrounded you. Receive the love and light from the original soul that stays with Creator in heaven. Receive the light. Continue. Listen. Ask for guidance. Very good. When you have received the guidance, remember it, but do not disconnect yet. We will have you share in a minute. Now it is very important to be in the greatest place of gratitude for when we are in this greatest connection, we can receive messages like this all the time. When we receive messages like this, we cannot be negative. We cannot be closed. We cannot be in a place that is not serving us. Offer your gratitude to beloved Mother Mary. 
bow your head to her in your heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bow your head with gratitude to beloved Jesus. Offer your greatest love and gratitude. They are always with you. Offer your love and gratitude to beloved Amitofo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Offer your gratitude to the beloved Kuan Yin for the gift that she has given each of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Offer your love to this extra soul that you invited in, the being of light. I am deeply honored for your presence. Thank you. And the divine, offer your gratitude to the divine creator. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Offer your gratitude to your soul. Please forgive me, my soul, for not connecting to you more. I will connect more every day that I can align to my highest soul potential. Keep the love that has been offered you. Open your eyes. Share what was your message. What was the gift that Quan Yin Kuan Yin gave each of you. Beautiful sharing. <clears throat> there are some that came in and just lasted five or ten minutes. Um, highly recommend you scroll to the beginning uh, when the live stream ends. It will be made available to start from the beginning. There is great wisdom. Uh, there is a beautiful meditation that we have just completed that will assist you with getting the answers to your highest soul potential. <coughs> so welcome, Peter. Welcome, Danta. Uh, welcome also. Uh, so Lisa received the message, begin to trust. It's a very important message. How do you reach your highest soul potential, Lisa? Begin to trust. How do you begin to trust more when one has been hurt so much? You don't necessarily open to those around you. You trust your creator. You trust the beings of light. You trust yourself. You love yourself, the creator and the beings of light. You fulfill yourself with their love, their light, their compassion. And then you bring yourself to the external world. You offer yourself. And if there is advantage taken of you, you are no longer hurt. You simply say, oh, I recognize that if someone is taking advantage of me, it means that I must have taken advantage of others in this or other lifetimes. I will forgive this soul and keep my heart open because I now have put my trust in my creator and in all the beings of light. This is the right way to align to your soul. Trust and service also for Chantal makes sense. Receive. All of the areas that uh, show up for the message, this is your solution, but it's also where you ask for forgiveness. Okay? If there has been a lack of trust, a lack of service, uh, then you need to ask forgiveness for not offering more service and for creating conditions where people did not trust you. So you see how it works? These are wisdoms that will clear the blockages so that you can reach your highest soul potential. Daganan, Wanda, you're very welcome. Welcome to Christopher Bailey. Diane received the message charity. Okay, I'm guessing that's similar to service. And so the message would apply there. Nicole received a golden lotus flower when Kuan Yin handed over a, a blessing. And so uh, we'll put in your heart center. You see this right here behind me? This is a round uh, purple sphere, an iridescent sphere. When I was in a, a, a soul travel with a, a very high level master, uh, Kuan Yin came in that uh, soul travel vision. And she reached out and, and handed me um, 
that little purple sphere. That's why it ended up in my photo behind me, not my photo. This is a, an actual artist painting. Uh, that's why it's there because she gave us that gift. Your gift is just as real. Don't think even for a moment it wasn't real. Johnny Mambo, the message was forgiveness. Ah, oh, I agree with that message, Johnny. More forgiveness will lead you to opening your heart. It will lead to your highest soul potential. Allison King, unconditional love, and she received a water lily. Connect with the soul of the gift that was given you. You can ask Kuan Yin, what is the purpose of this gift, this water lily, this golden lotus? <clears throat> you can ask her, what is the purpose of this gift? You will receive the message. Diane says, beautiful. Candy says she received the word love. Uh, Samantha received the word love. These are excellent. How do you open to your highest soul potential? It seems very simple. The highest teaching is the most simple teaching. We will leave this live stream and walk out the door and be angry or curse or get mad at the kid or, you know, stub our toe and get angry. Life will still be there. How do we rise above it? Remember the word that was given you. Your soul is connecting to you to assist you. Your soul, all of these beings of light and our creator are 100% present. 100% of the time. They are never not 100% present. Know that in your heart. It is us that is far from them. So each and every practice we do, each and every time we clear blockages in our chakras, each and every time we chant to serve others, chanting love, peace, and harmony, each and every time we receive divine services. What is a divine service? It's a, a master teacher like myself gives a divine order to clear your, uh, your negative memories, your negative mindsets, to clear selfish, greedy thoughts, to clear lust, clear these kinds of blockages. These are the kinds of things that inhibit us from having a pure and open heart. Divine services are a fast way to clear the blockages. This is another way with the messages they give us. Um, Kristen says, boy, I needed that. Thank you. The message was from her original soul. And the message was, embody me all the time. Yes. Because your original soul is always connected and one with source. And it carries that original source frequency. So in our connection to that original source frequency, we can have significant, significant growth, significant alignment and clearing of our blockages with a lot less pain. Uh, Diane said she felt so much peace and calmness. Whoa, thank you so much. Um, Akil, her soul is at peace because I am soul eternal and loved. Beautiful. It's a beautiful message from your soul. Jesse Archer, first time here. Uh, and great. Thank you, Elizabeth, for inviting Jesse. <clears throat> Diane says, help homeless kids and stray animals. They are lost in this world. It's a wonderful message, Diane. I love that message. When we are offering our service, whether it's to others or even to ourselves, so that we can clear our blockages. In fact, when we love ourselves, when we clear our own blockages, we are serving all those around us. By clearing our own blockages, by clearing our selfishness, by clearing our blockages, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, that is not selfish. That is self love. Big difference. Shagdeep, she received a bright, shining heart from Kuan Yin. When Kuan Yin reached her hand out, when she placed it in the heart center, it went to her jindan and felt a lot of warmth there. It was shown dolphins and told to balance, giving um, and receiving good, uh, good guidance. I was shown that I am protected and safe in all ways. Thank you, Master Paul, for the beautiful meditation. I offer my gratitude to my teacher, uh, Master Francisco, who gave me the meditation today. Uh, beautiful message says Dharma. And Diane says she received an orb as her gift. Wonderful. Raul, this was a very special experience. Thank you, Master Paul. The gift he received was a master key. The additional light being that came in was uh, Hale Selassie. The message he received was to dedicate his life to spiritual service. I would write these down. These are not uh, insignificant messages. 
The key is to keep them in your heart and to live the message. I am so lighthearted, says Monica. Uh, she was told to let go of grief and to love herself more, to stay in herself. And she's a wonderful later and then, then uh, to go on totally. Beautiful messages. It's important to act on the message. One word, love, act on it. Love self, love children, love when you're cooking, love when you're driving, love the coworker that's not so easy to love. If that is the message, the simplest message will take you to the highest places. Remember, you're very welcome, Jesse. Shelly says, I think it was a smaller ball of colors that mostly were blue. Once she placed it in her baby Buddha, he smiled and had much happiness. He got chubby for sure. She laughs out loud. As far as the message, she saw only a human eye. Only a human eye. <clears throat> that I think was upside down. No clue what the eye means. So you can meditate on that. You will certainly get an answer. Julia says she received a shining blue heart, a shaped gem, and she needs to strengthen her connection with her soul, her heaven's team, and she will be shown the way. I tell you, your guys' messages are very, very powerful, very, very profound. All of those that came in late, I highly recommend you go back through and reconnect to this. You could get a significant blessing from Kuan Yin and all of the beings of light who came and a tremendous opening of your heart center and some really important messages for your life. Uh, Angie says she thinks her gift was uh, Blue Jewel. Angie Chandler says peace and be still. Beautiful message. You're very welcome, Judy. Heart chakras open more. Uh, Akhil received the ball of peace while uh, Samantha received white gold. Uh, Tradizzle, I'd recommend that you watch a few of my live streams, go to my website, they're all listed above the video, become uh, familiar with this wisdom and teachings. There is help. Uh, I do a lot of, of blessings, many of them miracle level, but you need to become a little more informed. I'm happy to serve you. <clears throat> Allison, thank you. I felt the warmth through the body. Appreciate you this for this clip. You're very welcome, Allison. Uh, beloved Kuan Yin gave Kristen a shining artichoke, possibly a green lotus. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Precious little boy in third wave. Okay. So lots and lots of lots of sharing. Jesse, uh, thank you, Jesse. Uh, Nina saw flashing lights around her body. She handed her gold, red maroon with gold color. Uh, lots of words, patience, love, give, allow, gratitude. Joyce Jones received that. Jota. She received the crystal lotus flower. Wow, wonderful. Uh, Tradizzle, I can help you with answering that. Um, you'll have to connect with me later. Okay. I'm kind of looking through them fast now. So forgive me if I'm passing up some of your comments. I might be here for an hour if I do that. Um, Dawn has a comment. She dunked an abalone shell in the light of water and she handed it to uh, Dawn's guide. The light water became liquid silver and then she said, you have a lot to do. The silver lifted and went through all the layers of her head. Wow, that's a huge blessing. Congratulations. Uh, Samantha feels light. Okay, so this has been an extraordinary experience. I hope that you all... Uh, agree. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to serve you. <clears throat> Each and every time you come, you are clearing aspects of your blockages. For those that continue to come uh, or watch the recordings or, or listen to the webcasts if you have a busy life and you can't really come back every day, I do these four days a week. Listed above is how you can access the podcasts, or the previous recordings. I do offer individual services, uh, individual counseling, blessings, and guidance. Um, you can learn more at my website, asoulhealer.com, and if you check Kristen's posts, she usually puts my name and phone number, okay? Um, so I'm happy to serve. So um, I do have to make a living, so understand there may be some honor fees for what I do, but uh, I offer these services in the podcast complimentary. Uh, this is how you can align your heart and soul to your creator sooner better faster 
So I thank you all for coming today. I will be back tomorrow. I love you. I thank you. I invite you to uh, come to tonight's uh, peace evening at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. You can uh, go to drsha.com forward slash Hawaii. I'm going to ask Kristen to grab that link and pop it in her chats. Uh, so just look for Kristen's link. She'll pop it in there. Um, drsha.com forward slash Hawaii. And tonight it will be an open evening. It's complimentary. And you'll get even more blessings through the center that I'm associated with. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To all of the beings of light that came, countless bow downs, please respectfully return. Bye-bye, everybody. Mahalo.